Dr. Randy and the team at the Asia Quest Habitat are getting ready to anesthetize and examine a muntjac named Chowley. So muntjac are a very flighty Asian deer species, and Chowley is no exception. What's interesting about Chowley is she's actually in our walkthrough aviary, so people actually get to see her up close and personal. They call her a baby deer. Uh, so she's really pretty comfortable, especially for a deer species, around people. Uh, once vets walk in, uh, she's onto them, and she knows what's happening. They are just feisty. They're fighters, and they're a pretty cool species. Good morning. Hello, hello. Good morning. This morning, we're going to try to get our hands on our muntjac, Chowley. Chowley has epilepsy, so she has seizures of unknown origin that we've managed for several years with oral medication. And they're starting to increase now. Previously, she was having maybe one seizure a month, lasting about a minute, and they're very mild. That's something we can live with. She's not going to injure herself with that level of seizures. Now they're starting to increase, so there may come a point where we can't control her seizures, where they become more frequent or more violent. And if that occurs, we would have to consider euthanasia. We have four darts loaded. We each have two darts, one in the gun, one in the pocket. So if we shoot and miss, we'll simply say miss, and we'll keep going. We don't need to pick up the dart till afterwards. So we've got four shots. If we don't get her in four shots, we probably need to abort. We're going to use a dart gun on Chally. This allows us to be able to capture the animal from a distance. We're eliminating the stress and the potential injury for the animal and for ourselves by using a dart. We do have some limitations on this capture. We don't want to overexert her. We don't want to chase her around for an hour. So what we're going to do is decrease the size of the exhibit so she's a little bit cornered, and we'll have two darters in prime positions waiting for that shot until one of us gets a solid dart in. And then we just back away, let her go to a quiet corner and fall asleep, and then we'll do our exam. Avery, be ready, because I'm going to catch her. I'm ready. She's back behind there. You're going to have to get a lot closer. We need to cut this in half. OK, if you get a shot, Tamara, take it. She's starting to slow down. Yes. Load again. Starts in. Got her. All right, everybody, just back off and let her relax. Oh, now we're running with some energy. Hold on. We're going to have to do it again. The dart did not fire. Dart did not go off. Well, that's disappointing. So far, we've had one dart miss. We've had one dart misfire. Tamara and I each have one dart left. We're at the point now where Charlie has exerted herself a bit. We've been in this for a little while. We don't know for sure how hot she is or how exerted she is, but we don't want to push it. If we don't have good control in the situation, we'll stop, we'll regroup, and we'll try another day. What do you want to do? Go back to original plan A? Yeah. Okay. Laura, you need to close that by the window. Got her? Yep, she's injected. For real? Yes. There's a reason that they don't get eaten sometimes by tigers. <laughs> She's affected. Should we get our stuff? Uh, yeah. When an animal has seizures, there's a couple of things we do. We'll do a complete exam and blood work and x-rays to make sure there's not an underlying cause, like liver disease or kidney disease. And if we don't find any underlying cause for the seizures, we just treat them with anti-seizure medication. Previously, she was having maybe one seizure a month. Seizures are lasting about a minute, and they're very mild. That's something we can live with. Now they're starting to increase, so we may need to up her medication. So her temperature's up a little bit. We're giving her vitamin E. I'm not concerned about that degree, since it was hopefully very short limited. We'll take her temperature again here in a minute. I'm sure it's coming down. Um, All right. Looks good. OK. So she looks good. She's got a little overheated running around. Temperature is 109, which is quite high, but it's a very short-term exertion. We're taking our temperature again. We'll give her some injections that'll help prevent capture myopathy, which is what we worry about when they exert. But it's a cool day. She only ran around for a minute or so. I'm sure she'll be fine. Her exam looks good. Nothing obviously wrong with her. We got a blood sample. We'll see what that shows us. Everybody back away, Dr. Young, and then come back and let her out. Since her head is up, I'm not concerned about her position. So. Is she going to be calm in the crate? Does she mind being in there? We need a blanket over. I think she would mind less if all of us were standing around. <laughs> Good point. If you can let her out, she looks pretty calm. So Charlie's exam went well. Got the blood sample. We'll send it in for analysis. We'll get our results in a day or two. We'll be able to adjust her medication and her treatment from there. In the meantime, the keepers will keep an eye on Charlie to see if her epileptic seizures return.